next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion, Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this fight? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Nice punch, man. 
landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, a nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Switching stances here. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression. Right. Single collar tie there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. McGregor's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, and he defends another takedown there. So it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turned that double into a single. Sprawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch land. Ooh. He loaded up there on that high kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. What? All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Oh, McGregor's pass is denied. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Under a minute now to go. Big ball for punch man. Now we get back to range. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy. Because uh -huh. this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing up. Kick land. Oh, nice strike landed there by Connor. 15 seconds to go. And both guys really throwing with authority. Strong defense there to block the shot. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. 
But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. That's a big strike right there. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Big leg kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, big left hand there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice leg kick land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. Just over three minutes to go. He's trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Able to land the single ground strike there. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this with a smile on my face. Takedown defense holds up. Changes his stance. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, oh! guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. 
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. And that's the end of round number two. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by McGregor. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Circling to his right. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside to try to find space. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody, but he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Blocks the shot. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Right single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Nice entry into the finish directly. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under a minute to go. 
Pathfinder trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Back to the feet now. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. We'll see what he can do. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Unloaded up. Oh! oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a round. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Punch over the top. Got a single collar tie. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice. They continue to exchange. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice double leg shot. Oh, ow! Slams him to the canvas with authority. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. McGregor's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. The ground and pound has been there all night. Keep moving those hips until you I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Arch, right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 
Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And this might just be a matter of time. From there, as yeah, he gets it got done it. by the submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is some high level Brazilian jiu jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest. At three minutes, 32 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.